Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and you all know how much I like murder mysteries, so I'm investigating the murder before Christmas. Now, this is a little demo by Goofanada, it was released in 2018, I was really hoping it'd get some updates, and it was something I'd forgotten about until I sort of went through my old library and went, hey, I remember this, I never could get around to recording it, so I thought, what the heck, I'll have a look. See how far the demo actually got. Um. Okay. We go. To us, the night before Christmas. And though it's quite grim, it is also the night of the death of Vic Tim. The office was decked out in holiday cheer. Tinsel and holly filled each cubicle here. Festive sweaters were worn, gifts were exchanged. So it was all white elephant, so each present was strange. I'm having a little difficulty reading this text. Time did arrive for the cake to be served. As Yolly you clog. Oh, it's your log, sorry. But the party was perturbed. To find the knife had gone missing. Where did it go? We were all snug in here, and outside all snow. Oh rang a voice that echoed in the night. It was Jane from accounting. We all know her, right? Mr. Tim isn't here. Perhaps it's with him. So I went to search for their boss, Victor Tim. He wasn't found in his office, nor by the front desk, but dead in the boardroom. By, by the intern, no less. <laughs> that face! <laughs> oh god! screamed intern Robbie. And the rest hurried fast. They saw what he saw. Vic had breathed his last. Face down on the table, his blood pooling thick. They all agreed that this was quite cruel of Saint Nick. <laughs> Out of uh, Vic's back was a knife with a tag. He was what a screw. Who's he was what a uh, he was such a Scrooge. So it was him I that I stabbed. Signed Santa, said the note, and his spirits dropped low. But the blizzard was strong, and there was nowhere to go. So here is the talk of how co-workers trapped solve the mystery of who gave their boss a permanent nap. Right, great, just great. You had planned to spend the night watching uh, TV specials and eating takeout with your uh, cat. But Mr. Tim had been s s strongly encouraging ev everyone to attend the... Yeah. Essentially, the boss wants you to attend the Christmas party, even though you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Which means if you don't, your uh, holiday bonus might mysteri uh, mysteriously get lost. So against your better judgement, you found yourself in the office on December 24th, while blizzard raged outside. certainly haven't been this bad earlier. Just goes to show that Christmas miracles come in all shapes and sizes. Like we 
you're stuck in a building with a dead body. Too like the R one. <laughs> you're not even counting the uh, taxi term with vulture you got stuck with this year for this. Uh, so got stuck with for this year's wide elephant. Oh, that's it. There's nothing else. That's I can't even class that as a demo. That's an intro. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. I was just getting into that now. Oh, damn. It's a shame this is a, a bit of a dead project. I mean, apart from the text being a little hard to read, the writing's pretty good for this little two-man team. And uh, it would have been nice to see where this would have gone. At least some budding investigation. Though Detective Butler has some DLC, though I need to check how to actually access it. Uh, I might actually go back to that. I'd love to actually see more of it. But this was the murder before Christmas, which kind of ended before it got started, sadly. And I will catch you next time.